everyone, it's Alana. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. Today, I am going to be setting up my Erin Condren Life Planner for the month of July. I am really, really stoked about this planner, you guys. This is my first ever Erin Condren Life Planner. This is my first time ever being in an actual Erin Condren Planner. Super, super stoked. Something that I've been missing in my planner lineup for a long time was a weekly layout. I absolutely love my Passion Planner dailies and I love my Hobonichi, but I'm not really using that weekly layout for weekly plans. I'm using that for something else entirely. So I have really been missing a weekly layout and I'm super stoked to have an Erin Condren for that. There'll be lots of plan with me's coming in the future, probably on a regular basis, which I'm so stoked about. But for now, we are just going to go ahead and kind of set this up for July. I have some stickers here that I selected for the inside cover. I'll put my name in later, but I wanted to decorate it up just a little bit. So I narrowed it down to a few stickers that I like that match the color where it says life planner. So I'm going to choose maybe three or four of these and go ahead and put it on that main page. Okay, so I think for sure I want this sun right up at the top here. And then, I don't know, I really like all of these, but they're not all going to fit. Um, if you guys saw a recent reel that I did over on my Instagram, I ordered 200 boho theme stickers from Amazon. I, I narrowed it down greatly, but they're all super cute. I think I want this one. She is clothed, clothed in strength and dignity. I think I'm going to put that one right here. And then I really like this butterfly. So maybe I'll put the butterfly like this, like this super cute. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love that so much. And then I'll put my name in later, like I said. For now, I'm going to go to July and we are going to decorate the monthly layout. Not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous about this, you guys. I have not decorated a coiled planner before. Um, I have decorated in my Erin Condren coiled notebook, but not ever in a planner. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, I grabbed two sticker packs. Okay, so the Seasons of the Year Passion Planner sticker pack is incredible. They have the most amazing, most adorable seasonal stickers. I love them so much. I'm not sure if this one's still available. I got this, gosh, I think like super early in the year. Um, but the summer ones are really fun and there's so many pages. There's like four or five pages of the summer stickers. So I'm definitely going to use some of those. And then I grabbed a happy planner fun florals because there's some summer flowers in here that I feel like will match these ones really well. All right, so I pulled out these two pages. I really like these because they're more pastel. They're not like super bright. And those summer stickers in the Passion Planner sticker pack, they're not like overwhelmingly bright. They're kind of like muted, pastel-y. So pastel-y, that's, that's an official word. Um, so I'm going to start by putting these and some of the Monstera leaves just along the top and maybe down around the side and a little bit on the bottom, but not a whole ton. It's so weird to not be pulling the pages out to plan. And now I'm going to have to uh, like figure out how to trim these stickers. If you guys have any tips for just Erin Condren sticker <laughs> planning in general, I would love to hear them or I guess read them in the comments. Um, because yeah, this is definitely a learning curve for me. I'm not used to not being able to pull them out. Also, I know a lot of people that do Erin Condren planning use planner kits, which is totally cool. It seems like so much easier to just put a sticker in a space that it was designed for, but I just, I can't do that. I'm, I don't know. I need like something different and the freedom <laughs> to do everything different each time. Um, let's see. that. What do you guys like to do? Let me know. Do you prefer a planner kit to keep it simple or do you like coming up with your own decorative ideas every time? 
I think I need to go with a flower above July. I left that spot blank, but I gotta put something like this right there. And then this one. And this one, I'm also not much of a flower person either, you guys. If you've been here for a minute, you already know that about me, but these are fun. They remind me of Hawaii, and I'm in love with Hawaii, so this is fine. These will, <laughs> these will suffice. So just a couple more across the top, and then I'm going to trim them and see if I can use some of the bits like along the bottom. I'm gonna put this little piece that I trimmed off the top over here. I love being able to do that. It's like two stickers in one. Really fun. I really like that. That's so far so cute. This is going better than I thought it would. Um, also, I don't know why I'm so worried about it. It's just stickers and paper. I could lighten up a little bit too, but that's just me. <laughs> so what are your plans for summer? Let me know if you're doing anything fun, anything exciting. Um, I'm not a huge summer fan. I do not like the heat. Um, so we, I mean, our kiddos are homeschooled and we decided this year to do, oh, that's not going to work. We decided this year to do, um, summer school and take our summer break in the fall instead where it's a little bit cooler and we can enjoy outdoor activities more. We love being outdoors. We love hiking and fishing and things like that, taking little road trips up into the mountains, but gosh, it's so miserable doing that in the summer. I mean, at least where we live. We live super close to the desert, so it gets really, really hot in the summer. Um, okay, so let's see. Almost done with the flowers. I don't know how I feel about the cut ones, though. I mean, it's supposed to look like they're sort of coming up out of the box, but I don't know. It's kind of cute. This one right here, and then... Let's see, I'll grab one of these and have it going like this direction. Okay, I'm going with it. I'm sticking with the half stickers coming out of the bottom of each box. Now I'm going to need one more over here, so I'm going to just have to cut one. I'm going to go with the blue one over here. Okay, that's cute. I'm happy with that. All right, so now for the little decorative ones. Not that those flowers aren't decorative. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm rusty at this, you guys. It's been, gosh, a long time since I have done a monthly layout. These are all so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them all. Those are adorable. Okay, I think I'm going to put this one that says summertime up at the top like over here just like that and the sun since these are um still june i don't mind taking up a bunch of the boxes and this little rainbow for the fourth of july i'm gonna put these red little starfish there's a fireworks sticker but i feel like it's a little bit big to go directly underneath that so I'm just gonna put those okay I love 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 this little Polaroid sticker super cute so I'm gonna put that one right up here gotta do the summer bucket list that one is always so fun to do with the kiddos to see what they really want to do and look back on it throughout the years and see the different Things that they wanted to do for summer break so that's gonna go down there I'm gonna put this surfboard like alongside it not that I can surf or ever have in my life but it's still really cute gotta go with some flip-flops I love my flip-flops so much I would wear them 
year round if I could. I just love them. They make me so happy. I'm going to put this little umbrella right here. This little camera. Let's see. Um, like this. And then I feel like I need something yellow over here to kind of tie it all together. How about some sunnies? Those are really cute. I feel like I need to change the direction of the camera because I don't want it at the same angle as the Polaroid. So I'm going to turn it and maybe just a couple more details and it'll be good. I'm going to put this little yellow starfish right there and then one over here. You guys, I did it and I'm proud of myself and I love it so much. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. So... I am blown away and willing to accept past Alana's baloney. <laughs> I said, okay, first of all, I said I would never be a coil planner. Never. I would never use one. Nothing against the coil planner brands. Nothing against the people who love them. I just, I have an astigmatism. So I have to turn the pages to be, or so I told myself. Let's not put ourselves in boxes, you guys. Do not set boundaries and restrictions for yourself. Look at what I did. Okay, I'm proud of it. It's so cute. And second of all, I don't like summer either. It's my least favorite of the seasons. And look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> so I'm happy and excited to be an Erin Condren coiled planner. What is happening? And then summer. I am heckin' celebrating summer and I'm loving it. This is so cute. I'm very, I'm, I'm very happy with it. You guys, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was a lot of fun. The first of many. I am so stoked to be back in a weekly layout and a life planner. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. Again, please let me know what your summer plans are. I'm very excited to hear about it. Can't wait to catch up with you guys in the comments below. But that is it for this one. I will see you in my next one. Tell your dog I said hi. Bye, guys.